So here we have my prototype SCX 200 V2 frame and uh, well we got a little bit of a dilemma and I've been flying this thing and having fun and frames held up well but the way I had the antennas mounted I was doing the typical zip tie method as you can see here this is the version one that I had built up basically just use two zip ties and you shrink wrap your antennas to them to hold them up in the air these become really flimsy and sometimes in a crash you can see this one's actually got a little bit of rash they can get sucked in the propellers so um, you know I actually designed SCX V2 to have a little bit of extra mounting provisions um, you know these holes are here but uh, you might also notice there's a couple holes in the back of this and I'm going to show you how to use those with antenna tubes so let's get started so like I showed you in the introduction, the first thing we're going to need is some antenna tubes. Um, these are just some black ones I bought at the local hobby shop. You could use whatever you want. Um, they're not always going to be the same uniform diameter, so we're also going to need some shrink tubing. What we're going to do is we're going to use the shrink tubing to layer on top of the tube and give it the required thickness we need to strap it into the frame properly. So shrink tube. And of course you're going to need a hobby knife and a heat gun to do this. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and take your tube and cut two pieces of it so that you they're about uniform, whatever length you feel comfortable with. And I'm going to show you how to stick those in the frame. So how this mounting method works is basically you take the antenna tube and you stick it through here. And you want to put a zip tie around it and through the hole through both the anti-rotation plate and the VTX mount. Now you can see this is kind of loose in here, so that's where we're going to use the heat shrink around it to take up the gap. That's also going to allow the zip tie to grab on it a lot better. So we're going to cut about an inch of shrink, heat shrink right now and shrink that on there. So now I've got two pieces of heat shrink about an inch long each, two antenna tubes, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick each piece on the end and I'm going to shrink it and then I'll come back to the video. Now we've applied heat shrink to both ends. Um, you want to use a heat gun preferably, not the lighter method if you can. The plastic can melt obviously. So you want to be careful how much heat you apply to this, and uh, if you do, if it, do gets a, if it does get a little flimsy, just let it sit for a while until it solidifies. It'll cool down. It won't take that long. So now you can see I've kind of inserted that through there, and it kind of lines up with that. We're going to take a zip tie, and we're going to strap it around there, and that's going to hold it in there pretty good. And with that little bit of angle difference, the uh, the shrink wrap's going to get gripped by the carbon, kind of, and that'll, that'll keep it fairly secure, and it should work fine. Got the strap going through. The ratcheting part is going to be on the inside so you can't see it. Just my own preference. It really doesn't matter what you do there. I'm going to stick that antenna tube down and uh, tighten that, that uh, zip tie up and then clip off the excess. So now you can see we've got an antenna tube in there. And I'm pulling on this pretty good and it's not coming out. And it's all due to that heat shrink. It basically gives everything the grip it needs to stay in place. And once you got those in place you can just thread your antenna in and you're good to go. Okay, when you're done with both, they should look like this. They should just come out the top plate, have a little bit of angle on them. You can see, I'm actually pulling on this pretty good. It's not really coming out. You're not going to see a lot of movement. You can see it's still in the zip tie pretty good. And again, that's all due to that heat shrink. It gives it all the grip it needs. And that'll give you two really nice, stiff antenna holders that probably will not fall into your props very easily, except in the hardest of crashes. And hopefully this will save your antennas a lot better. 